Shalom alaikum. All right, so yes, I'm doing another one. Um, one of my friends did say, "Hey, you know, I'm not really into this game," and I was like, "Awesome. Well, what else would you like to see?" So, um, I'm gonna try and get back into Overwatch for that person because one, Overwatch is awesome. Um, I will say that that will probably be age restricted just because I know I have a bit of a mouth on me when I am doing online games like that. Especially when I die frequently and get pissed off, or yeah, life. Uh, but I did want to do at least one more on this, and at least try out this online here. Oh, I get to keep calm and focus. Man, I don't want to keep calm. Oh, it's trying to tell me things. Uh, yada yada yada. Okay, so I move by thing to thing. So I'm not playing people in real time. Okay. And... Wait. Without lead, they'll keep the effectiveness and achieved velocity of their owner. So does that mean... So I'm just trying to figure out, does that mean that they're only going to build what I actually have built? Or are they going to go beyond that and say, hey, he was going in this direction, let's follow through. If they do, that's really impressive that someone could build an AI like that. Okay, so I want to get to my four little points. Let's see, so... My green... Red... Whitish, yellow, and another green. Um, alright. Cool. And then giant gold thing in the middle. I can do that. Alright. I get to be East Empire. Cool. Um, well, obviously I want to go for this one first. So I, oh, wow, that score is very different. Jackhole or Nico 1095. Well, I have to go for Nico just because that's my cousin's name. And if it's my cousin, I have to go beat him. So, chances are it's not my cousin, but hey, you never know, right? Alright, so first things first. Same strategy as last time, but we're gonna go with three houses because why not? I do want to back a little bit, and. What do we have going on over here? Starting with two houses as well. Cool. Copycat. Alright, so. Uh, get my farms ready for when I can do it. Kind of there, maybe? Ah, cool. I'm probably going a little overboard on the farms, but I really want to get those built up and ready. Let's see, I can get a couple more houses down. Alright, so my population is going up pretty quickly though. I can't, definitely can't complain. Especially if I can actually get some of these farms to finish. The downside's going a little overboard, but... Which is why I think he's technically winning, but... Build that. Okay, I can't build my grand ring. Let's get that up and running. So I'm actually surprised I have as much energy as I do because I was dying at work today. It was it was rough. Uh, had to deal with my district manager and most of the managers being in the building. And worst of all, I was there all day. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love my job, I love working in a restaurant, it's a lot of fun. There's a certain point where, when they're telling you, hey, you have to talk a certain way and act a certain way, man, I don't want to act a certain way, I don't want to talk a certain way, I want to go do whatever the heck it is I'm going to go do. Let me have my fun. Like, and don't get me wrong, I'm a respectful person when I have to be. Uh... <laughs> 
Oh, I, I actually do treat people with a lot of respect. I do get very frustrated sometimes, especially when I'm trying to quit smoking. And, <laughs> that's, that's fun. So, anyone watching this, if you've never smoked before, don't. Alright, everyone's gonna say, oh, well, you shouldn't smoke, it's bad for you, yada yada. Man, that ain't why you shouldn't smoke, because one day you're gonna look at yourself and be like, man, I just don't want to do this anymore. You're gonna realize something. Crap, it's really hard to quit. Like, it is painful. But man, I'm, I'm down to, like, two a day on a bad day, like, three. And I, I just went from like last, like a week and a half ago, week, whatever, uh, I was at a pack a day. So to give anyone who doesn't know an idea, there are 20 cigarettes in a pack. So on average, I was smoking about 20 to 30 cigarettes a day. Now, keeping in mind that it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to smoke a cigarette, holy crap how am I not dead I don't know we're gonna continue to ask these questions though uh, but that's the least of why I should be dead right now <laughs> anyways um, I'm not encouraging my death I say that right now I like being alive I like my life sometimes I do get frustrated with my life a lot but um, where's I going with this oh yes so I'm trying to quit smoking and trying to work towards management. So, what that means is I'm sitting here saying, okay, I'm trying to improve my health. I'm trying to quit smoking. These are great endeavors. These are better for my life. Well, going down for that much to so little has me very stressed out. Everything is nails on a chalkboard. If you have ever heard that, I am so sorry. I know that everyone uses whiteboards nowadays. Man, when I was finishing up school, it was nothing but whiteboards, and computers, and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love computers. And I love whiteboards. Like, that's a great sound. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of ASMR, but it's like this tingly feeling in your brain. I get that from just watching people draw on a whiteboard. It's, it's weird. Don't get me wrong. It makes no sense. It's really weird, but it's like freaking crack to me but uh so on the smoking thing man if you've never heard someone just take long nails and scrape them on a chalkboard I had a teacher do that to me back when I was like real little back when chalkboards were still a thing and that was a nightmare how she got away with that I do not know but I wanted to go bad when I was a kid and I was in a Christian school where they were allowed to use corporal punishment, I, was, I may not be that old, but I am from a time where corporal punishment was not like encouraged, but it wasn't like a, hey, you can't take the belt and slap the child, but it's okay to do that. And I'll tell you one thing, I learned a lot, and man, after the principal got their hands on you, you didn't do it again, I'll tell you that right now. So when I was in Christian school, it was the teacher got their chance at you, the principal got their chance at you, then they call your parents down and then they'd get their chance at you. If it ever got to the point where mama and daddy came on came down there, run. Like, you were begging them to take you out and put you out of your misery now instead of later. Ah, uh, but I digress. Anyways, so on the quitting smoking. Uh, I've now officially started, like, coughing up all that crap that was in my lungs, which is really good, because that means it's getting out of my lungs, which, awesome, I'm getting healthier. At the same time, it's not enjoyable, and when you're down at work, and everyone's asking you this way, that way, you've barely slept in a week. I think I've slept maybe 10 hours this week. I, and I'm talking like the last 7 or 8 days. I've had maybe 10 hours of sleep. But, uh... It's, it's driving me up the wall, so I'm trying to quit smoking. I've got people, like, putting me down, and they're like, Oh man, you're not gonna make it. And yeah, I'm gonna slip up. I know that. I'm not perfect. I'm a human. But, man, a little, like, compassion. 
compassion here and saying, Hey, you know what? I know you're having a hard time, but I support you on it. Like, yeah, that's a wonderful feeling. Man, if you want to support someone who's trying to quit smoking, please support them. They can use that help more than you would ever imagine. Because they're going through something rough. But anyways, to that previous point, don't do it. Everyone else is going to say, oh, well, it's bad for you. It is bad for you. That's a fact. All right, don't, don't even try it. If you are a smoker, don't try and deny it. And I'm not going to. It's terrible for you. I originally started because I have some health issues and... Shoot. <clears throat> but we're going to bleep that one out. Uh... Anyways. Um, I was basically told, eh, you don't know how long you're going to have. I was like, okay, well, no one knows how long you're going to have. But I was told, you don't know how long you're going to have in a much shorter time frame than most people. It's like, well, nobody tells me what to do because I'm stubborn like that. I was like, alright, so if the universe says I'm gonna go down, well, I'm gonna go down because I did something stupid, not because the universe decided I didn't get a chance. So, that being said, in my infinite, infinite wisdom, I decided to say, hey, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start smoking. Because the condition I have is not helped in any way by said activity. Uh, it is an issue with my heart. And if you don't know, everyone says, oh well, cigarettes cause lung cancer. Yes, they do. They also cause issues with your arteries. Your blood pressure will be through the roof. Trust me. I'm experiencing that one right now. It's not fun. And uh, the other thing you can do is heart disease, which it does say on every pack. But I thought, hey, I'm I'm young, I'm tough. If the universe says this, well, I'm going to make it happen. Because genius, right? I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a smart person. But uh, I'll tell you what. Smart people do stupid stuff all the time. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The smarter the person, the dumber the things they're gonna do. Trust me. Um, can I do. Wait, no, that's not the one. It should be you. Ah, I want gold. And I put it right there. That'll work for me. It's probably a much better spot to put that, but. So we're sitting that. I want to go ahead and say two more of those. Oh no! Wait, barracks. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. I've got four of them already being built. Man, why do those take so long? Those barracks take forever. Anyways, sorry. I I, I can just kind of ramble sometimes. But uh, smoking. Don't do it. It's it's addictive, it's very hard to quit, and it smells bad, and I do enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, I I enjoy how I can relax when I'm doing it, how most people will leave me alone when I'm doing it, because every once in a while, you just want to get away. There's nothing wrong with that, we all do. If you want to spend every waking moment of your life with other people, I don't believe it for a second, I'm going to call you a liar. Because at a certain point you look at others and say, look, I need space. I need a bubble up around me, I need a room to myself, and if you come within 10 feet of me, I'm going to throw something at you. Needless to say, that's me in the morning, if you ever wondered. <laughs> you wake, you try and wake me up in the morning and I'm just like, I will kill you if you don't leave now. This is your warning. And I'll tell you that in my sleep. Like. We don't mess around with sleep, I'll tell you that right now. I love my sleep when I'm actually asleep. And can stay asleep, you better let me sleep. Which is why this week is killing me so much, because my manager scheduled me like almost 50 hours. I'm like, dude, I am tired. He let me go home 30 minutes today. Uh, but I had to deal with my district manager. And I'm just like, 
please don't say anything to piss me off. I'm already stressed out. I don't have any cigarettes. Or, I had a pack in the car, but I was like, I've only had like half a cigarette today, and I want to keep it that way. And this isn't the way to help me with that. Um, <laughs> good times. Good, good times. But, uh, I'm still here. That's the impressive one. What you mean you can't build that? What did I build over there? I built a build in my. What the heck? I've got an iron. I don't have an iron forge. I don't have an iron forge. Let's build that there. What is that there? this. Ah, granary. Why did I build it? I didn't push G. I pushed that. What the heck? Awesome. Exit. That. I'm not even going to ask questions anymore. I pushed the wrong button. I'm an idiot. So, but yeah, so that's what my week has been. It's trying to get over an addiction that I don't entirely to say I don't want to would be very inaccurate. Uh, it's not a lack of wanting to, it's more of a... The fear of failing. And it's similar to this, like... I'm terrified of this. Because, yeah, it's a lot of fun making these videos, but let me tell you... Uh, there's one video I did that has like 500 something views. I'm like, awesome! I felt like the biggest badass when I did that video. I was like, that is awesome. And man, it got, it had like 200 views within like six hours of it being up. And I was like, man, I, I did it. But I wasn't getting any subscribers. So, it was, it was like a one hit wonder for me because. <laughs> Ain't nothing ever come close to that one. Um, but yeah, it's terrifying to put yourself in a position where you might not succeed. And that is a thing. Are you not gonna... Ah, okay. So, that's what I hate. The O's and the zeros look exactly the same. And how are you supposed to know what you're doing? And why is a gold foundry O? I mean, there are so many other buttons you could have done. Is there a button for F? Huh. It's just, I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, I, I try and understand these things, and it makes no sense to me. I'm going to put my armory right there, because... Right next to my iron. Sorry, I'm pointing at the screen like you can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a genius. Um. But yeah. Stay away from those addictions. And if you know you have an addiction, I highly recommend avoiding situations that encourage you to be bad with it. Like, if you like to gamble, I highly recommend staying away from the casino. It'll end bad. Um, drugs, I've been there. I've probably done it at least once in my life. I highly recommend staying away from those. Uh, if you want me to bring up something controversial like weed, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Ever. Nope. Nope, I have an opinion on it, but it's unimportant. Because that is just a recipe, because I intend to continue this. If this becomes big, trust me, I do not want that one being pulled up and slapped in my face and saying, well, you decided to say blah 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 blah. And I'm like, ah, let's delete that. But, no, I've, I have been around, I have done things, and not necessarily things I'm entirely proud of, but there's nothing in this life I would change. Um, completely, fully, I can say that with 
absolute conviction that I am proud of the person I am. I am proud of the things I have done. Are there things I'm not so proud of? But everyone has things they're not so proud of. I guarantee it. Ask your mama, ask your daddy, ask your best friend. There's a good chance that they've done something that they're not entirely proud of. But I wouldn't change it because who I am, it can't beat it. I am who I am because of the choices and the things I've been through. Like... And never try and change. Continue to be yourself. And part of life is making those mistakes. And... I don't know if anyone's a fan of Star Wars. But... one of, And I promise it's not a spoiler. I'm not gonna spoil things for you because not everyone has seen it. Not everyone has the money to just go blow on the movie theater. Heck, I don't have the money to go to the movie theater, but for some reason I still do. Um... But... One of the characters tells another one of the characters, yeah, see, I'm really good at not spoiling things, that um, the best teacher is through our mistakes, like messing up, failing, screwing up, doing something probably not in our best interest necessarily. It's how we learn, it's how we grow, and you'll, I'll tell you what you will learn so much from failure. I, you will learn a lot from failure. I have learned a ton from failing. Um, I've done and been through things that have taught me about myself. Uh, they've taught me the kind of man I wanted to grow into. And you can learn that through the mistakes of others. Uh, unfortunately for me, I'm more of the slam my head into the brick wall a hundred times if it doesn't break, if I keep hitting my head against it, eventually I can get through. That's the kind of person I am. But don't be like that. Trust me. It's not a good quality. I mean, in some ways, yes. To be willing to go as far as possible to succeed, that's a great quality. To look at something and say, huh, I know that's an immovable object. But I want to be an unstoppable force. So let's see what happens. It's an age-old question that has no answer for a reason. Because no one took the time to try and figure it out. Uh, actually, there is apparently an answer according to mathematics or something. Uh, sorry, my best friend is a math major, so he tells me all of this random stuff. And you know what? I love him. I love him to death. I, I will always be there for him. But, uh, there's a lot of times where math was one of my least favorite subjects, I'll tell you that straight up. Like, the theoretical stuff, love it. It's a great time. Uh, especially with the sciences, theoretical stuff. I was a science major. Uh, biochemistry with minor genetics. He is a mathematics major. Yes, I have dealt with math. I do not enjoy math at all. When they started putting letters in it, I started enjoying it even less. Like... I did not need the alphabet inside of my numbers. Not a fun time. Alright, we're just gonna start pumping out troops at this point. That's all we need. There we go. Oh, we won. I didn't even get to watch the destruction. Cool. Let's see, how bad does it look over on their end? Where's their end? Is it gone? My people eat them? Oh my god, we're cannibals. Anyways, uh, the last thing I want to leave you with is... So, apparently the age-old question was answered that... If an immovable object... Meets an unstoppable force... And I kid you not, this is what the mathematics have decided is the answer... Is that they will phase through each other because... One of them's not moving and the other one's not stopping. So, therefore... They must phase through each other to continue their existence. Because that makes sense. Mathematics, guys. I'm telling you, the worst thing we could do was add letters in there. It did not help. And then there was all those other little, weird little symbols popping up left and right, but... Anyways, 
Uh, I will leave it there. I, it is like 3 in the morning here. So I do need to like make sure that I edit out a single curse word in there. Or two. Um, but it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Uh, catch y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.